Bernicia says her son Devon is 18 and it's time that he starts acting like a man. She wants him to stop disrespecting her and start working. Devon says he's not the only one with issues. Devon, what do you want your mother to work on? As like, soon as stuff not going her way, she flip all the way out and just start, I mean, cussing. cussing she go to zero to 100 <laughs> real quick? Mm, not, even so, not even 100, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> zero to <laughs> mouth. So Devon, are you saying uh -huh. that your mom has anger issues? Like, bad, then her bipolar, her attitude. Her oh, bipolar. <laughs> oh. I'm not, I don't want to keep going though, because she kind of tapped. What happened? What happened? No, whatever. Oh, you a hater. Oh, he's a hater. Bernisha. He has anger problems. I okay. Don't. But I wonder who I get it from. Devon just said that you have bipolar disorder. Is that a diagnosis you've got? I, I was diagnosed when I was 18. When you were 18? Yeah. Okay. So everybody has a different manifestation of bipolar disorder. How is it like for you when you have the symptoms? Um, sometimes I'm hyperly excited. I feel like I'm on top of the world. That's when I'm in my manic stage. Like I'm on top of the world. I want to go shopping and stuff like that. Now mm -hmm. that's when he gets his shop See, shopping spree. She started with the good stuff, right? That's she started with the good stuff. Not the part right. Now when I get depressed, you know, the other part, um, I get really sad. I don't want to do anything. Or I can get angry. I, get, I do get mad, but I get mad How at... How angry do you get? Ah. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Okay. You, you were dying. Eighteen. Have you gotten treatment for this? Um. Yeah. Well, what kind oh, of? Oh, uh, uh, you, you, you was like, like well, ten <laughs> Yes, I've ever heard. Okay. So when I was younger. They, you know, they took me to the psychiatrist. They, they, you know, just prescribed me medicine. At that time, I had just had Devon and his little sister and all that. Um, I was doing my own thing. I was, what, 18, 19 years old? I was doing my own thing. I was smoking, having, you know, I just... Doing her, like I was I doing. I was doing me. So okay. you didn't take it seriously and take the medication? I did, well, in the, in, in the black community, the bipolar and stuff like that, we don't really... Right. I discuss. know. Yeah. I'm black. I get you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mental health issues. But no, we get, we get what you're talking about. Yes, so but there's a stigma in our community that we don't talk about mental issues. Bipolar disorder when it's untreated, and as you've probably been told by your doctors, it's a lifelong illness that you have to manage. When you don't take medication and you don't get counseling, it can really get out of hand, and you can keep having rapid cycles. You can have more and more symptoms over time. And oh, the does, stop, 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 stop. This is not a lecture for your benefit. This is actually for your mom to be able yeah. to be a better person I and have a better relationship. I told her this though. Like I tried to, but I, when I, I tell her it's wrong, no. I have a psychiatrist. You know, I'm. So are you taking medication if you have a psychiatrist? Um. Well, when I had my last son, I had um postpartum depression. And yeah. I really believe that every time I got pregnant, you know, looking back, every time that I was pregnant, I have four kids. Every time I was pregnant, um, something happened. Like I said, that's the yeah. first time I kicked him out, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I know it has something to do with my hormones or right. something. Right. So um, Childbirth. when I went there, after having him, they, get, they diagnosed me with postpartum depression. And um, I've been taking medicine for that. And I've been going to see the psychiatrist every like three months. So what kind of medicine are you taking now? Zoloft. You're taking Zoloft. So I just want to let you know that Zoloft is an antidepressant, but it doesn't treat bipolar disorder. You need to be on a mood stabilizer. Are you still seeing the psychiatrist? I am. OK. And has he told you anything else about other issues that you might be having? Has he encouraged you to take a mood stabilizer? Because that's really the gold standard treatment for bipolar disorder, is a medication that addresses the mood instability. And that's leading to difficulties mm -hmm. in your relationship with your son. And then also, can I ask, Renisha, with the Zoloft, are you, are you, are you smoking weed too? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't be doing that at the same time, Renisha. Yeah. It actually yeah. will lead to a worsening of your symptoms in some cases, and mm -hmm. other times the medication won't work the way it's supposed to. Have you been honest about this with your psychiatrist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what mm. did your psychiatrist say? I mean, she tells me not to, to do it. Right. But that, that's, and that's your doctor. That's how I self-medicate. Like, this is how I deal with stuff. I know, but that's not a medication for your symptoms. Let's be clear, Devon. Her illness is not causing you to call her a bitch. Right. So, yeah. Nothing to do with her illness. Yeah. So you don't get a pass over there. You're looking pretty like, okay. You're not getting a pass for disrespecting your mom.